Hello, everybody. I believe I have found the perfect, absolute perfect science vessel, at least for me. So first of all, uh, this is my continuation of Let's Play Star Trek Online. I am starting up a new playlist dedicated to showing you the ships of the Federation in STFs. This is not on Ensign Ricky. I am on my main character, the Doctor. I have just acquired the Orb Weaver ship. Now, I did not spend a ton of money trying to open lock boxes and whatever and doing that. What I did is I basically ground, grind, grounded, grinded, whatever, for low buy crystals. Okay, I got 800 low buy crystals, and I bought a recluse carrier. Now, that, that's a carrier type ship, and I didn't want a carrier, I wanted the orb weaver. So I found a nice person in uh, Earth Space Dock who was willing to trade me his orb weaver for my recluse carrier. So thank you, person who I just forgot your name. Thank you so much for that. Basically, it was just an even trade, just swapped um, boxes that were unopened. The uh, the requisition box that's required basically for the ship to get the, to uh, open up the ship. So it was an even trade and uh, very, very nice. And so here I am with an orb weaver ship, a Tholian orb weaver ship. The orb weaver ship is a science vessel. I must emphasize that it is a science vessel. And so far, it is the best science vessel that I have played yet in this game. I have had a hard time as a science officer, even after three years playing this game now, I have had a hard time nailing down the absolute perfect science ship. I have played every science ship in the game. Um, I have played on cruisers and escorts as a science officer, and I've even tried the carriers, such as the Aatrox and the Heritage or whatever, the, uh, the, uh, the latest Federation carrier they came out with. Um, and out of all of those ships that I have tried, I have never really found the perfect science vessel that fit exactly what I wanted. Um, the closest one up until now has been the Intrepid Retrofit, and that's the Voyager type ship, Intrepid, with the um, ablative armor that you can enable. That's the refit ship. That one so far, and, and actually um, b just beyond that is the, um, I guess, the extra retrofit uh, refit they did where they came out with the um, one that had the better looking um, textures on it and kind of look oh, kind of looked more similar actually to Warship Voyager in, um, in that Voyager episode. Um, anyway, it, that was the closest I had come. I love that ship because of the turn rate and uh, the science abilities, but I was never satisfied with the firepower on it. This ship, I am. Okay, first Yes, we're going to play all the STFs on this ship. I'm going to do Infected Space, going to do Cure Space, and going to do um, Kittimer Accord Space, all in Elite. But before I do that, let's just quickly go over what this ship has, and I'll show you how it's so awesome. And, and then I will show you the Orb Weaver ability in a Deep Space Contact, and then we'll jump into Infected Space. So first up, um, let's look at the loadout I have on it. <clears throat> this is how I currently have it set up. Now, usually um, on my science ship, on the, my Voyager retrofit, I had two beams up front, and then I had three turrets in the back. And that way, I was always aimed forward, and I was getting the maximum amount of firepower that I could possibly get. I had basically one, two, three, four, five weapons always pointed forward, firing at the same time, three turrets and the two dual beams. Okay, and then on that ship I could turn around to the front really quickly on it. This ship turns just a little bit slower, and so what I've done is I've put two um, beams, two single beams on the back. That way when I'm angled toward the side or the, or the back, or I'm making a turn around an enemy, I can still fire on them with that firepower. Now, I left one turret on there just so I have a little bit more firepower when I shoot forward. 
and then of course when I'm on my when I'm at my side or my rear uh, shooting, I'll get the two beams and, and, and in addition that turret still going. So that's the maximum amount of firepower that I can think of for right now. I may change that le that layout, but for right now this is what's going to work. I got it equipped with the Borg deflector array, um, the Borg engine, and the Mark 12 Mako resilient shield. All right. Now, I've also got on it uh, EPS, I got engineering neutronium console, of course my uh, Borg console, hollow matrix because I am using um, the uh, some science abilities, biofunction, my uh, field generator, and um, this is the console universal Tholian web generator. Creates a level 51 Tholian web for 30 seconds. Collision with web causes 202 proton damage per second. Web collapses for 3030.6 proton damage. Awesome, 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 and I'll show you that. I also have another uh, console that I got through some lockboxes. And uh, I admit I did do some lockboxing, but not, you know, uh, and a tremendous amount. Um, basically, I just bought master keys from the exchange. <laughs> they are quite expensive, by the way. Um, anyway, console universal subspace jumper. It, uh, I can teleport approximately three kilometers behind my target. So if I'm firing at them and they're firing at me, bam, I hit this and I teleport behind them. And uh, so basically, they're no lo they no longer have a target lock on me. Um, so that's a cool little thing I have there. And then, of course, my um, anti-proton mag regulators for anti-proton damage. Um, I could I could take this off and put another one of these on for more anti-proton damage. I may actually do that in the future. I'm not sure. But that would give me even more uh, anti-proton damage. And um, I actually might like that. As a science officer, you don't do a whole lot of DPS. Um, so that's just one more thing I could do to help me gain some DPS. Um, all right, now if we look at what my shields are at, 14,000 is what my shields are at. That's a really good shield uh, capacity for a science ship. And then 41,000 hull. It's about 10,000 less than the cruiser um, that you can get, which is like 51,000 hull. So 41,000 hull, I'm, I'm, I think I'm higher than I was on the Voyager retrofit. A higher shield and higher hull. So I have a good hole. I can actually tank really well on this for a science ship. And I got good shields. Um, and of course I got all that resist stuff going on. <clears throat> for my stations, um, you do have a Lieutenant Commander Universal slot. This is totally awesome. You can design this ship to be a total BA science killer or actually um, use a lot of tactical abilities. And this was not an option on the Voyager retrofit ship. Um, basically, it was all science, and it had two little um, options for tactical. I only had uh, tactical team one and beam overload two on my intrepid retrofit. Well, I have the option on this ship. I can go with the full commander science that it comes with by default, and then if I wanted to, I could have three more of these abilities here. I could make these this more sciency, so I could totally turn it into a BA science ship, throwing out all those wonderful science abilities. Or I can do what I've always been wanting to do with a science ship and turn it more toward the tactical and use some more tactical abilities that I w was not able to use on the Voyager ship. And that will give me um, some more things. For example, now I can do attack pattern Omega-1 um, here. If I was able to get beam overload 3, I could retrain an officer and do that. Also, I believe it fills this slot here. Um, then I got beam overload 2, and then I got tech tactical team, and I was able to also add torpedo spread 1. I've never had both of those abilities, beam overload and torpedo spread, on a science ship before. So this is awesome. Um, and, and, oh, one of the... Um, features on this ship that it comes with uh, is um, a Tholian Thermonic Torpedo. 
it does a ton of kinetic damage, and as you can guess, kinetic damage against the Borg is what you want. Um, kinetic damage, debuff weapon, and engine power. Okay, it does 2,177 kinetic damage, shows 7.4 DPS, 15% chance to drain negative 15 weapon and engine power for 12 seconds, 20% chance to improve recharge time by 4 seconds, 50% chance lesser of negative 20 or negative 20 able crew, and look at all that stuff it does, and plus 20% accuracy on top of all that. So this torpedo, it can slow down your enemy and drain their weapon power at the same time. And it does a ton of kinetic damage. And I did test it, and it works with Torpedo Spread 1. And when you see the torpedo fire, it fires like three torpedoes kind of circling around each other, okay? And that's just one. Now when you hit Torpedo Spread, you have like three sets of three torpedoes circling around each other going out. It is a phenomenal sight. Absolutely brilliant. It is very, very awesome. And I will show you that ability as well. So that's currently how I have my ship laid out. Um, it's probably not the absolute best build out there that you could do, but it certainly is not horrible. And I can at least show you the abilities. Um, so that's what it's like. And of course I have the visuals for the Borg uh, turned on. The uh, engine, the deflector. What I like about the deflector is that it's got those pointed... Um, you can see there, there, there. It's got there. It's got the uh, pointedness of the deflector dish coming out, just making it look even more deadlier. Because the ship is already pointed f quite forward, and then the, with the added pointedness that the Borg deflector adds coming out, just makes it look more killer. And then of course you, you know, you engage the engines, and it's got the single impulse engine right in the middle where the uh, Borg visual effect comes out, making it look very, very symmetrical. Very, very awesome, and I like that. Instead of looking odd, on Federation ships, you see this uh, trail only comes out of one impulse engine, and the other one's left alone. It looks very asymmetrical and very ugly. But on this ship, it looks awesome with the Borg stuff on it. And then I have the um, resilient shield effect. If I turn that off, if I turn the Mako shield off, um, that's basically what it looks like without the Mako shield. Okay. Now, if I turn the Mako shield back on, I did not mean to unequip that. Wrong button. If I um, now that now the visuals are disabled. There we go. Oh, that's how I had it before. Duh. I'm stupid. Okay. Now let's enable the visuals. And basically, it makes it shiny. It has that little shine in it, you can see. Kind of looks like a mirror. And if you zoom in really close, it's got a kind of hexagonal, you know, it looks like a stop sign pattern on it, you know, little circles or whatever. Um, maybe octagonal, something like that. Um, and it gives it a shine. All right, so that is purely awesome. Um, of course, there's my Omega Power. Um, all my powers are set how I want them. Of course, I have Photonic Fleet because I'm a science officer. <clears throat> Here's my power settings. I have a lot of power put toward um, auxiliary, obviously, because I use a lot of auxiliary powers as a science officer. At least I did on the Voyager. Now on this ship, I put a little bit more power toward weapons. Um, I have all my weapons on auto-fire. Uh, one other thing I want to show you before we do the Deep Space Encounter real quick. Um, is the warp out. The warp out animation um, on this thing is pretty slick, better than the Federation. So watch this. We will warp out and watch the trail effect that it leaves. Isn't that smooth? Isn't that just awesome? It looks so much better than a Federation ship in my opinion. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a deep space encounter for the sole purpose of showing you the uh, Tholian web, okay? So I'm going to pause the video and I will restart it when I get to a deep space encounter so that I can show you that. 
Okay, and we're back after that little cut. So, I have found a deep space encounter in Sirius Sector, so all the enemies are going to be negative 48. But that's not the point. The point is I want to show you what the Tholian web looks like on this ship. So let's go into this deep space encounter. And I'm going to find a group of ships. And I will put them in a Tholian web. I want to find a lot of ships, not just one. Warning, ship is under attack. Oh, I'm under attack. I really don't want to be right now. Thank you. Let's go out here. Oh, I need to get a little faster. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just... Here's a set right here. Even though this guy's firing on him. Ah, oh, no, that's not good. I want to get away from everybody. Here we go. Alright, watch this. Bam! Awesome! Folian Web for the... Win! There's that torpedo. That awesome, look at that. Look, I'll do, um, I'll do a torpedo spread, look at that. So sweet! That's the torpedo, my friend. Killer. Absolute killer. Make sure all my weapons were on auto fire. Yes, they are. Goody, goody, goody. So there we go. That, my friends, was the Tholian Web. Is that not just awesome? Now, for some reason, it does not show up in STFs. I have tried it, and I have used it quite a bit now in STFs. Um, however, it doesn't show up. The effect of it still works but the visuals don't show up inside the STF, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. So, I don't know. I'll use it and I'll show you that it just doesn't work. But anyway, um, okay, I'm gonna pause the recording again and I'm gonna queue up for Infected Space Elite. And uh, when that starts, I will start the recording again. So hang on just a second. Okay guys, and here we go. Infected Space Elite queued up and launching right now. 10% rule. If you don't know, the 10% rule is take each of the generators down to 10% and then fire on them all at the same time to take down the transformer. Um, so that's the basic rule. Um, and so let's hit this thing in an orb weaver ship. Oh yeah, baby. Look at my torpedoes go. Go, baby, go. Fire is on. 
now we have to take down the generators to 10%. He's working on that one, he's working on that one, he's working on that one, and now he's working on that one. I'll help them out with uh, Help him out. Bring that one down fast. Oh, stop firing. Um, he's doing all right on that one. I'll just wait. <laughs> I did not hit the fire. Stop firing. That's at 3, that's at 14, that's at, uh, it's coming down, that's, that one I cannot target, oh there we go, it's at 10. He said go, everybody's going. Alright, there we go. Give it everything you got. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Get out of my way. Bam! Torpedoes. See, I'll use my orb weave, my uh, Tholian orb thing. Yeah, I just used it. All it does is that in an STF. It doesn't give me a visual, well, a visual thing of it. Oh crap, and I was trying so hard not to blow up for you guys. I just got way too close there. I should have backed off. <laughs> I was right in the middle of it all. I'm sorry for blowing up. I don't usually blow up. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> that sucked for me. I just got too close to that one. Now I gotta let my people heal. This is why I like the biofunction units, because it uh, gets your crew healing a little faster.
with that. I love it. I love it. Man, I'd love to have Torpedo Spread 3 with those things. Oh my gosh. Torpedo Spread 3. I want... I want... Put that in a uh, in a folded web. Too bad. Oh crap! Dying, dying, dying. Oh, and I die. I died. Cube, I think, got me or something got me. Oh, and I've got damage. I'm dying too much in this video. Uh, yeah, I usually don't die this much. Well, I, I just uh, the, the the orb weaver is a little bit slower than the Voyager. Ship, at least at turning, I gotta get used to that. I also think I want to put those two turrets back on the back of it instead of uh, the two beams that I have. I'm not Our using it. Whoa, hello. Why am I going to All of a sudden, my controls went wonky. we go that was infecting space elite in an orb weaver ship and after doing that I think I'm going to put my two turrets back on the rear instead of the beams I'm not using the beams a lot and I want that more forward firepower so let's do that awesome okay telling everybody that they can go view this video at uh, at the website on uh, YouTube. Okay, so that was Infected Space Elite, and the Warp Weaver ship performed awesome. Um, now the actual Tholian web ability, like I said, you can enable it, but it, the visuals don't show in the STFs. Don't know why that's the case, but uh, that's, that's odd. Now I need to go heal all my damage, and... Um, I have put the turrets back on, so 
I think in the next STF that will be a little better to give me that more forward damage power, that more forward. Because when I'm pointed forward, then I get my two dual beams going, plus I get three turrets also going forward. And that's the most forward damage that I can do on a science ship. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that was an Orb Weaver ship, an Infected Space Elite. I hope you all enjoyed it so much. And um, I am now going to stop this video and make another one in Cure Space Elite. And then after that, get a Record Space Elite. So prepare for more STFing, <laughs> as it were. See you all in the next video.